He just doesn't like you. Yo, what's going on? Cut it close to our curfew time. And we're not exactly sure how to get back. Hey, welcome back. We're the uh, Three, Three Musketeers. Musketeers. And we just finished four performances over the weekend in San Antonio. And now we have a few days off. We're going to show you what we do on a break and tell you about our performances and get some good food. So join us now. Let's go. The location we're at is uh, Two Bros Barbecue. So some of our production team members came here on the day off before San Antonio performance and they said it was really good. So let's check it out. Yeah, I, just, I went to explore a little bit. So they have the barbecue stuff outside. Over here, I think, is where they actually make the meats. I think. Oh, wow. Nice. But you guys are out for the day. Out for the day. Oh, for tomorrow, that sir. So good. Yo, the dog is scared. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> He's just he doesn't like you. Yeah, I know what you are. Lay down. Lay down. Come on. Now we'll get you to do what I want you to do. Excited. Lay down. Roll over. Oh, oh, yeah, there we go. Good boy. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, Will? Yep. I'm gonna go get that. Yo, we got the last rib. Oh, that's very interesting how they uh, store it. Yeah. I think it's little, because it's kind of too late, so I think a lot of things out. Oh, water is nice. Not that cold anymore. Please. Here is a special sauce. All right, everybody, we got our food. Since it's uh, 6 o'clock right now, we talked to the pit master, and it's like about closing time. So they don't have a lot of meats anymore. So unfortunately, we only got brisket so we're trying the beef brisket today and we're also trying uh, barbecue ribs the pork ribs let's try this brisket let's see how this compares to Bucky's uh. oh. <laughs> I feel like he doesn't really like it and he's trying to he's thinking like what should he say or something it's really dry and um, <gasps> it's, it's harder to chew but the flavor is better so it's not as tender but I don't know maybe that's on purpose but the, okay the thing I like is the crust on top is really nice. And well, in the meantime, these two guys are enjoying the sides. Okay, okay, good. It was good. <laughs> so they love this one, guys. This one is a crowd favorite side, that cream corn. They really like it. I mean, that's really good, not bad. I think since we tried a lot of good meats, so I think it's kind of weird, kind of hard to please. <laughs> the flavor is pretty good. The first thing that hits you is the flavor. Mm. I do something, right? Mm. I'll just take a directly bite of it. It's leftover. Okay. I've never like shared stuff with someone before, but after coming here, you know, like uh, we're all together <laughs> for a long time, so I got Where used to it. There? I feel like it might be a bit salty for Jisung because he doesn't like salty stuff. Flavor is good, texture is better. Yeah, it's, it is kind of salty for me. All right, and this is the outside area. The outside seating area is actually very nice. There's a playground there as well. Get the ribs and get the creamy corn that they have. The, cre the cream corn is really good. <coughs> Sampu is like choking right now on something. <coughs> but yes, this is the best. Get this. Flavor is good, it's tender, it's amazing. Okay, so actually Jisun just asked me, he's like, do you guys eat dinner? And actually I ate a lot for dinner too. But the thing is, we're eating here not just because we're hungry, it's more about enjoying the you know place we're in. Food is kind of like a nourishment for us. Our soul, because we just had a no. Like seriously though, so, so exaggerating. No, I'm being serious. Though. It's just been like chilling, right? Just after the show, you had a lot of stress, and it's just chilling a bit. Sampu's trying to be really deep right now. Like after the show, we gotta eat. After <laughs> dinner, nice. it's like our nourishment for our soul. Nah, man, yeah. we just want to come out and chill and party a little bit to relax after the performance. It was stressful, you know. I mean, sometimes, yeah, you don't need a huge meaning for it, you know. You just, no, you listen, just, guys, you just, you're just chilling. I'll give Sam a chance to talk again. Okay, okay. Ch chance, to, chance, chance to explain. So we had a 1 2 1 this place, right? And actually, the, it was supposed to be a 2 1, but the 1 was an added show. Before this, the most intense show we had was a 1 2 2 1 Puerto getting Rico. Long, getting long. And then after that. Boring. Boring. After that. You're getting long. <laughs> We haven't guessed by now, our second location is In-N-Out. We don't have this in New York, so now that we're in Texas, they have In-N-Out in San Antonio, we gotta try it out. Let's go see what it is. I have to is. convince these two guys that this is good. <laughs> guys, I am shocked by the price. Yeah, yeah. me too. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we basically got like, I think eight burgers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we got fries, and we got a shake and drink, and it's only $62 for eight burgers. 
That's crazy cheap. So, have you ever had in and out before? I think so, but that was like a long time ago, like 10 years ago, so I don't really remember how it tastes. I actually had in and out once before as well, like over 10 years ago, so I haven't had it ever since, and let's see if it's like worth all the hype, you know? Yeah, People from like the West Coast love it and hype it up, so we gotta see if it's really worth it, you know? Alright, the first thing we're gonna try is gonna be the animal style fries. It looks like there's cheese on it and some, I think that's animal style fr sauce, right? Oh uh, yeah, sauce like and sauce. then the caramelized yeah. onion. Sung is the food expert. He's expert at eating, not at talking, but he's gonna eat first. Let's go! Whoa, whoa, whoa. How's it? How's it? I like it's good. it. It's tasty. I like it. Let's go for it. The fry is not crispy. I like it crispy, but the sauce and everything makes it good. It's still worth trying for sure. Some people just asked us for a YouTube channel. So we're from New York, okay. and we're actually with a performing arts company. So we're dancers, the three of us. Oh. And then yeah, it's called yeah. Shenyin Performing Arts. Hey, go Chinese dance. We just went to Shenyin. No, no way. We did just what is it, a couple weeks ago here. So did you see, they actually watch our show twice. Oh man, you got your camera. <laughs> Thank you. Your show is awesome. Thank you. So Will, it looks like you're famous. You're a Shenyin dancer and a three musketeer. I was holding famous. this burger the whole time. <laughs> But uh, let's check out what's in here real quick. We got the animal style sauce, I think. We got pickles. We have the tomato, lettuce. We have grilled onions, and there's two patties with cheese. So my job today is to convince these two guys that In-N-Out is better than Shake Shack. My favorite burger is Shake Shack, so I don't know. Tastes pretty good. And for this price, it's actually amazing for this price. But still, Shake Shack tastes, tastes better. No, you're biased. <laughs> So when I was eating this when I was a kid in LA, it didn't seem special to me because we always had it. But then after I moved to New York to start dancing with Junior, like that's when people started raving about it and I didn't understand until like I left LA and I didn't have it now anymore. All they had is Shake Shack and McDonald's and stuff. And now I realize the hype over it because it's so like fresh, it's like inexpensive and it's just good. This is definitely really good and I can see why people will like in and out I can see why, the appeal. Price is good, flavor is amazing, beef flavor is good, great burger. But we're gonna end the vlog here tonight at In N Out, and then we're gonna have more stuff for you guys tomorrow because we have a travel day tomorrow, which has a really nice Chinatown. We're forcing Jisun to do techniques now outside In N Out. I mean, he's awesome. He doesn't need to warm up at all. He just can do it. And we're just gonna record him. Well, follow him. Make it look cinematic, okay? Uh, I'll try my best. Oh my! Crazy! Jisun's crazy. He just ate a burger and barbecue. Oh <laughs> Good job, Jisun. Good job. It's crazy. All right, good night, everybody. Good night. Good night for real now. What's up, guys? Today, we're at Houston Chinatown on our way to Lake Charles. And uh, there's so much food here that we are overwhelmed. I was scrolling on Google Maps for like five minutes looking at all the restaurants they have. And we decided finally to go to Rice Noodles right there. I like how uh, Jisan has his own water bottles. <laughs> why, why are you hiding water bottles? We are actually on the road for a few hours before this, so yeah. everybody just woke up. We are like kind of sleepy and out of it, but... We'll show you guys the menu real quick. So everything here is just rice noodles and you can basically choose your soup base. Like for me, what I would recommend you try, either a sauerkraut soup or I feel like a tomato soup would both be really like satisfying. Okay. Sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll. Jisun is not going to be eating here because he's not interested. But we're trying to record here. Jisun's interrupting us so at least he can listen. Ha 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 ha. Mm. Uh, you want to try some of the soup? Do you like it? This one for you? Yeah. We're gonna let. Tried, we're gonna let. I never tried this kind of soup before. Try some tomato. Sorry, try tomato. Not, not my type. Jisun does not like sauerkraut soup. But it's not like kimchi. Yeah, kimchi. But Jisun is a Korean guy who doesn't like kimchi, so. This is actually perfect for a, for a travel day because it's like a soup that's very flavorful but not oily at all. Because I want a soup too. Rusong, how are you enjoying the food? Thumbs up if you like it. Most family. Oh my <laughs> we, we're finished our meal now. I finished all my soup. And Rusong also finished all his soup. And me and Rusong are both from Northeastern China. We're Dongbei people. We gotta finish our food. He's from LA. No, I'm from Lenzhou. And he can't finish his food, so... What is this? Just like half the soup left. Okay. Explain yourself. I'm saving my stomach for bubble tea, okay? Because we're going on a long bus ride. Normally I would kill this thing, but now... No. There's like only an hour left on our bus ride. One or two hours. I'm using my brain. 
So in Chinese, we have the saying called Zhan Dou Li, is your like fighting power. And you had to say Zhan Dou Li is strong, it means you can eat a lot, you know? So this guy's Zhan Dou Li, his fighting power is pretty low. I don't think you can finish it. Don't, don't force yourself, we have a long bus ride. Don't force yourself. Okay, now we're going to our second location. Ji Sung's getting some Korean soup. Ji Sung, where are we going? Tell us. Uh, we will follow you. We believe in you, Ji Sung. Watch out for car. Uh, watch out for car, watch out for car. Would you be down for black pepper lunch or something? All right, guys, Ji Sung let us here now. We're here. What does Yuk Dae Jang mean, Ji Sung? Explain uh, to the camera. Turn around. Please. Okay, I'm guessing the menu pronunciation is Yuk Dae Jang. And Dae Jang means a captain. So I think they kind of combine two words. Oh, the captain. Captain and plus that uh, name of that food. Let's go inside and see Ji Sung. Wait, what'd you get? Can you show us? Ji Sung got this Yuk Dae Jang. Looks like some kind of noodle soup. Ji Sung's ordering his takeout. Beautiful water bottles. <laughs> Hey, but Jisung, I have a question. Why do you have two water bottles and not just one? One is one is just uh, water and one is uh, uh, what? Apple cider vinegar? Yeah, apple cider vinegar. Oh, so you buy your apple cider vinegar with you. All right, so right now we're at Pepper Lunch and it's actually a Japanese restaurant. The chain is from Japan and it's known for having a teppan, like a teppan, which is like a tiepan, a metal sizzling plate. And you can cook your food on it the way you want it. So check it out when it comes. Try to get a bit of meat on here. Going for a bite, let's do this. You tried it? I haven't tried it. Mm. It's really good. There's like a lot of butter in there. Butter, rice, with corn, and beef, and some black pepper. It's really good. Sam, how are you doing? The skillet is too hot. If you like it. Okay, that was my first time having pepper lunch, and we definitely enjoyed it so much. After eating, a lot of us said that it felt like we didn't even eat yet. We've the, the rice noodles disappeared because the food was so good. We just forgot about eating rice noodles just now. Everybody like destroyed all of their food. We actually had to catch the bus because we had to go back on our bus at 2:30. A few minutes later. Run. Yo, what's going on? We're about to cut it close to our curfew time. Time we have to leave because we have to drive. We're to catch a bus. Like three more hours. Right? Oh, wait. And we're not exactly sure how to get back. Okay. So that's it for this episode. Hopefully you liked our vlog in Houston. So hopefully you guys liked this episode of our day off in uh, San Antonio in Houston. We can't do a proper outro because we're late, but not late yet. Not late yet. We're, we're here. We got it. We're here. So hope you like that. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next time.